My name's John, welcome to another Sunday Night Nightcap. This weekend there's been no steam rally on, at least no steam rally for us. So I've been able to spend quite a lot of time in the shop uh, doing some videos. There's some viewer mail coming this week, I'll show you some of that. I spent nearly all day today uh, doing a video for a company called Artec, um, showing the difference between that the newer type of welding screen compared to the older type welding screen. Um, I'll show you how I set my camera up the video welds because lots of people have asked us. I'll show you how I do that. And I'll also include include I'll also include the short video clip towards the end. I'm sure you'll find it interesting. Mick comes across with Steve and we do the draw for the little DTI gauge that I showed last week. So I'll let Steve carry on see if we can get a any amount of boy. Hi, I'm champion. Spot on, good lad. One's enough. Roger Bradley. Champion. That was great. All I need now is an address. I'll get that posted up to you straight away this week. When I was at Harewood House Steam Rally last weekend, uh, a gentleman had come across to us, a lad called Peter. Um, we had a decent video camera and a tripod. And he was saying that he'd been to a previous Steam Rally to give us a micrometer and he never found us. Anyway, I gave him the address and sure enough he's posted up to us a really nice micrometer, uh, 0 to 2 inch more and right. It's in good condition. I'm actually going to use this for this week's giveaway prize because I've already got two, two inch micrometers. Uh, it's more than right, it's in really good condition. It's got all the bits and pieces, the adjustment spanner, it's got the little one inch test piece, and most importantly, it's got the adapter that turns it from a zero to two into a zero to one. That goes in there, and you get your, your one inch. Anyway, Peter, thanks very much. I'm sure someone will be really happy to, to have that as a prize. Well, he also gave us two DVDs, or he sent us. There's two DVDs that he's produced himself. I've watched these, they're really good. Content's good, the quality's excellent. So Peter, thanks very much for that. It is most appreciated. If you want a chance of winning this morning right micrometer, all you have to do is send me an email with your name. That's all I need. Your name goes into the bucket. If your name's drawn out, I'll post it off to you anywhere in the world completely free of charge. That's my email address up there. It's just a little way of me saying thanks very much for all the help and support I've had over the years. So send your name in, you know I know you might win. I've just reached a little bit of a milestone on YouTube. I've actually clocked up 28 million views. I mean 28 million views for a mechanic that pisses about. I think it's absolutely incredible. So it's 28 million views. I think it's 43,000 subscribers. Uh, so if you watch my channel, if you like it, subscribe to us it makes a big difference uh, the more subscriptions you get you, you get better privileges uh, it works out a lot better anyway if you like what you see subscribe to us click the like button thanks very much the next operation is to machine the slot down through there for the actual brooch to go into i'm just going to mount this in the vise like that on a parallel and just use a, a milling cutter uh, the most important thing is that the vise is running perfectly true. So we'll tram the vise in just to make sure it is running absolutely spot on. I'll set it on to zero. I'll zoom the camera in so you can see it. Right, we'll use a power feed. Go from one end to the other. It's looking pretty good. The vice is on down, but there is a little bit of play. It's basically looking quite good.
you know, very very slightly off so all I'll do is I'll split the difference between the zero and that way John right back to zero again I'll just nip the the vase up make sure it's nice and tight right and take it back the other way I think we'll settle for that. Right, I've got the job clamped up nice and tight in the vase onto a parallel so I know it's going to be lying level that way. What I need to do now is find the centre of that so I can make sure the slot is cut in the centre. Uh, use an edge finder. Bring this in until it see it'll stop moving there and then kick off there the zero the axis of that on the uh, side same thing again bring it in and it stops moving and you can see it kick off there we've got a reading for 49 0.795. I'm going to do it again. There. Zero. It'll stop moving and then it'll kick off lane. There. And I've got the same reading 49.795. Read half of 49.785 is 2.489. 24.9 I want. Right, we'll lock it up with that. So now that tool or the, the job should be directly in the middle of the spindle. Right, the brooch is 3.125 which is 5 sixteenths of an inch. So we need a 5 sixteenths of an inch cutter to go into there. Right, we've got a 5 16th milling cutter.
even looks like it's in the centre, which is a good thing. Yeah, that's a nice fit in there. Now, it's pretty right the same width all the way down where it's just marked the top, which means it's obviously the, the piece of line nice and square in the base. Okay, that's a 30 foul cut. Put them on his eye all right on the floor. Nice fit in there, that's the dog's bollocks. We'll probably cut that dry, but for what it takes to put the, the coolant on, gives him a little cut out a much easier life. Fifty so foot this time. I'm holding an electronic rev counter uh, to pick up head to go on the milling machine so I can tell what sort of revs it's doing. Obviously we're having the inverter on, it's infinitely variable now. But what our rev has to go in there seems to be taking the metal off quite cleanly. Right, that cut on there was not quite below the surface, but not far off. And that 10 cell should do it. And this is obviously tapered, so you want it to start. That bit there is going to be below the surface. I want a little bit more taken out of it. And what I should have done was measure that and then I could have. But anyway, I'm sure I will manage to. Uh,
Yeah, that's what I eat. There you can see that's now down below the surface as you push it along the teeth are now sticking up proud so that will be cutting so that's basically the machine and done on that